Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing my weekly review, actually doing it because I usually do it on a Sunday. So we're going to go into Tana and uh, fill out the weekly review and I will show you all of the different components and uh, how I currently have it set up. I think right now it's a pretty succinct sort of process. I have a section where I review the week, the tasks that I would have done, a little reflection, and then after that, I also have uh, um, a bit of planning for the week. I do want to add in a bit on goal setting. So really uh, keeping track on where I am with my quarterly goals. But I was also thinking that maybe that's better done in the monthly review. Uh, anyways, so let's go ahead. Uh, usually in the past, I would have selected the weekly review from right here in my weekly routine. But I've been having some difficulty with this um, super tag. So what I'm going to do is uh, start the weekly review by just typing in week fall and then applying the weekly review super tag. So this is where we will be working today. <laughs> or right now, rather. So I'm going to put today's date in here. And I begin with um, a weekly routine, which is where I uh, essentially take off things that I want to make sure that I have done on a weekly basis. So I've already called my family in terms of digital declutter, um, close open tabs and windows. I have pretty much already done that. I just have one tab open, which is medium. So I'll close that. And uh, um, I don't come here. I'm just going to close all of my sort of open things down here that I would have, again, would have had open during the week. Uh, like up, I can close this. Don't know why that's not. Quit. World. Quit. iBooks. Great. So that's done. Clear my downloads folder. This process usually takes a bit more time. And my head is currently blocking that little thing that I see here. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of speed through this, or skip this part, and uh, clear my downloads folder. All right, so my downloads folder is cleared. And in my uh, email, I essentially just have this, which I will read in my newsletters anyways. So I can delete that for now and close down ARC. So essentially, the digital declutter is completed. And I'm moving on to what did I do this week. And this is where I review the tasks. I answer these three questions. And I also do some cleaning up of my Tano workspace, as well as inputting anything that I would have written down from my pocket notebook. So the first thing is to review the week's task. And I can go ahead and select them all and uh, set the status to archive. And that way it's not going to show up um, in my weekly schedule up here for the upcoming week. It's essentially clear. The only thing that I have here in my weekly schedule is uh, this event, which is completed. And I'm going to put that as archive. And we will see that that is now gone. So my weekly schedule is now completely clear. Alrighty. So now that I have reviewed the task, I have... I have put the appropriate statuses next to what was done and what was not completed. I'm just going to go ahead and answer in these questions. All right, so now that I have completed those uh, uh, questions and answers, I like to do a kind of Tana daily input cleanup, which is where I go back through the week by just going to the previous day and setting tags for anything that is not tagged um, or putting things in a place where I can kind of essentially 
find them again. So for this, uh, I want to make sure that these are under... Are these nodes actually here? I'm not sure. I think they are. But for some color, let me close this. No, they're not. So I need these to be here. So just small things like this, where I'm clearing up uh, everything that I would have entered in this um, kind of catch-all place in Tana um, on the daily page. Some days don't have anything, other days have um, quite a bit more. For example, this is a book, The Daily Stoic. This is a book. So I can go ahead and add in the author, Ryan Holiday, Venture, The Daily Stoic. Right, everything else is pretty much. Um, this is uh, an idea. So an idea. This is something that I want to remember. And uh, everything else I don't think I really um, need to uh, put anywhere per se. And that is it for that week. So I have essentially completed my Tana daily input cleanup. Um, the last thing that I do is I have this uh, notebook and I just go through here. It's like a pocketbook that I keep um, in my in my bag and on my desk. And I essentially, throughout the day, I would just write things and I just go through here and see if there's anything that I want to add in from the pocketbook. This is a habit that I really only recently started doing. So um, I don't actually have anything to, to add in, but that's great. Less cluttering inf of information. Okay. Review my daily habit progress. So, so I come up here to my daily habits node and I kind of review the progress for the past week. So that is pretty much from here, Monday. Um, stretching wise, I only got three out of seven. Definitely can do better there. Um, I, I know that I exercised for my target of five times for the week, which is great. I'm going to put a check mark. Check. Yay. Um, dental hygiene was pretty perfect every day this week. And... Uh, Writing has been a true failure. I wrote one day, which was yesterday, and uh, that is pretty terrible. I only spent money. So this this habit is uh, not a, a habit that is necessarily supposed to be ticked off. This column should be as bare as possible because it's when I have spent money, and it's just a reminder for me to do my finances on those days that I actually spend money. So January has actually been quite a good month of me not spending money. So that's 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 really great. I did spend money yesterday though. Um and the last one is my social media window, which I actually have been pretty good with. Three and well yesterday would have counted as did I did I did I did I Hmm. Yeah, yesterday would count as well, and today would count as well because I really haven't been on social media really for the day. So that brings me to one, two, three, four, five out of seven, which isn't bad. So I know that for next week I really should focus on uh, writing and uh, 
kind of stretching as well. I moved my yoga mat from my room to outside and that's why I missed a few days, but I put it back in my room so that I can see it and be reminded to stretch in the morning. Uh, writing, I do think I need to set a set period of time to write every day. So I think I want to actually schedule that as a task. Settle, make a writing routine. Great. Okay, so reviewed the daily habits. I have a reflection here, which is some more questions that I usually answer. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those now. All the variety. Answer those questions and I am moving along to review any upcoming events that I have for this week. I do my events on a monthly basis. So everything that I have planned for the month, I would have already put in here um, and tagged as an event in my monthly routine. Um, so I just kind of review things here. Uh, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, these are pretty time sensitive and depend on when my sister has time and the dentist appointment I do have to schedule. Um, when can I do that? So I kind of pull up my calendar and uh, I check and see when I can do things. Maybe on Saturday, actually. Maybe on Saturday. They can schedule that dentist appointment. Yeah, so that'll be Saturday coming up. Um, and that's pretty much it for this week. Next, I will plan the tasks that I want to focus on for the week. This is what I'm going to complete today. So I will change the status to archive and have these moved out of my weekly schedule um, at the end of the day. But what do I need to do this week? I need to do this as well as my resumption of duty. It's kind of small tasks. So that's fine. So that's everything that I want to get done. And now I'm going to schedule these tasks. I think what I should do is try, as the task list starts to grow, I should try to um, group these by project or group these by life area or some sort of category. Like this would be work. Um, these would be work so that I can kind of group things and have it on one day. But I know my schedule, so um, I will, I know that I have to do this on Wednesday. This, I believe, should happen on my day off, which would be Friday, 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 yes, Friday. I usually add in the time box on the actual day so that it is uh, pretty clear. Don't need this column. And that's pretty much it for in terms of this should be done on Tuesday. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the scheduling tasks. And what I like to do is just come back up here and look at the weekly schedule and to kind of see how things are balanced and just to reorder things. I can move this to Thursday. Yeah. And that looks pretty good for me right about now and last thing that I do is uh, kind of just a relaxation prompt and reminder and um, I go into my RSS reader and I just catch up on any recent blogs and newsletters and uh, yeah that is actually it for my weekly review um, completed today and everything I have uh, pretty much planned out here. I do sometimes kind of check back in with my monthly action plan. I would have already ticked off that I exercise at the trail five times for the week. Um, but my month, the, the end of January is coming soon. So I'll be doing my monthly review in any case. And um, yeah, uh, that is it for the weekly review.